how do we fight a forwards pressure fighter with very very uh, good distance management here we use a stopping push kick and that holds them away just the same as a jab but with your leg and it's not too committed so that you don't slip off or fall forwards and they al allow them to counter they want to get in and counter you same clip coming again stopping push kick and we use tempo changes so touching with your hands striking low hard or vice versa so you can see here whack he changes the tempo he kicks low here he touches with the hands kicks low and it keeps him keeps Marat away from him also understanding your opponent's habits Marat throws counter hooks all the time here Chingas does the stopping push kick slips off probably commits a bit much falls forward has to roll because he knows Marat counters with his left hook a lot here when Marat uh, when Chingas exits to the right he rolls you can see him rolling all the time same clip again pushes slips off commits a bit more he ducks because he knows Marat throws that left hook here exits to the right rolls with his head just in case whether or not he punches or not who cares you just do it as a precaution to fight someone like Marat with such you know disregarding forward pressure you've got to have a good balance between when do I sit down and strike when do I use my footwork to get away I could need to give them some sort of deterrence but I can't sit there so long that allows them to do counter shots so you can see like an easy three shot combo there goes to the body body shots make people sit down and sit on their feet for a second it gives them an exit and uh, you can see that he uses the stopping push kick it was a little bit out of range so he opted for the sticking jab again you can see there he gets to do three shots hard allows him to back up and avoid the counter this distance correction coming up is great he push kicks he was way too close so he lifts his knee up and goes for the stabbing jab instead so he just swapped the push kick out for that jab in that situation there to maintain distance and then goes back to his movement his push kick and then he sits down on his punches again after that Uh, it can be hard to do uh, to move all the time and sit on heavy shots and exits. So sometimes you just create your own exit by pushing the opponent backwards, uh, all crowding them. So you can hear, see here, Chingas rushes forwards. He gets back to the center where he wants to be. Now he pushes Marat, throws the high kick, and now he's back in the center. Charges forwards, quick temporary clinch, pushes, rolls his shoulder, boom, throws a high kick. Now he's back in the center of the cage, or the, sorry, the ring. They can see everything in one. Stopping push kick, sits down on the punch, uses a measuring stabby jab, boom, changes the tempo again. Now he goes, uses footwork as he moves away. Same clip. Stopping push kick, sits down on his shot, measuring jab, changes the tempo, fast low kick. Now he's going to opt to use some footwork to get away from him. It's a beautiful display of kickboxing from Chingas. Here's another example. He sits down that body shot, does the knee, he's back at distance again does the hooking ducking right uh right right hand now you see him moving 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 boom he's using footwork to get away obviously Marat's going to walk straight back in whack give him something to keep him away and here's a few examples of when Chingas just uh maybe stayed still too long or Marat got sick of him and managed to get in there this is the fight that Marat wanted he wanted to come in boom and have these exchanges because he'll win this because his energy system is way better suited to fighting in this style because this is the way he's always fought so he just charges forwards gets his combos off and if the fight ended up like this i think Marat probably would have won but the fact that chingas managed to use all those tools to keep Marat away and find that delicate balance between when to jab when to stab with your push kick when to sit down and hit hard when to use footwork you know it's very very impressive and the next clips coming up are just for you guys to try and see I'm still going to keep talking anyway because I'm already here. But thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. And here they come. So here we go. Boom. Push kick. Hard knee. Exits off. Uses footwork. And he's back sort of to the center. He uses a change in tempo there. Hard low kick. Nothing too committed that he can't back away though. There's some more committed shots. Some more committed kicks. Stabbing jab there. Distance managing jab to keep him away. All these things always allow him to move a little bit or allow him to maintain distance and not be sat down too long. We have another crowd coming soon. But that's a nice one there. He pushes him off, exiting to the right instead of doing that duck. Digs on the body shot. Nice stabbing push kick, jumping knees. You can see what I mean now. He does all these attacks to maintain distance, but it always allows him to have an exit and retreat and be able to move away from Marat again. Never stays in too close. That's why it's such good balance. There's another pushing exit. 
beautiful. And then he goes back to maintain distance and he gets into a bit of a um, dust up here at the end of the last round, but he still uses that forwards pressure and uh, sometimes you just have to fight fire with fire. If you guys wanna learn anything else about distance management and control, make sure you click on the link below because we have a course coming out soon.